everyone welcome Excalibur here and today we're starting a new series on the channel so in this series we will discuss how to build heroes correctly and uh, yeah we will discuss um, stones artifacts gear what and enables whatever so we will begin this series with uh, the one and only Ignis so Ignis is like the great replacement for Fair Queen Vesa. She's a great support hero and she is very, very widely used in the community for uh, certain modes. So if you don't have Fairy Queen Vesa, which is like a preferred third transcendence hero, you don't build her as first or second. So she's like your best third. So if you don't have Fairy Queen Vesa, then Ignis is your, uh, your go-to. So. You can use Ignis in two forms, so the fully built Ignis as a support or a expendable Ignis or I, uh, she have another name in the community but I'm not gonna call her that name, it's like, uh, it's not it's a bad name but in her 9 star form, this is what she's useful for, so you use her in her 9 star form to die, yeah, she's disposable you use her in the front line, she gets hit, and uh, this is why. So when she dies, she will heal the nearest ally in the forward position. That means if she ends a second slot, so the first one will get this buff. So she will give 100% um, HP. She will uh, heal uh, the nearest ally 100% of max HP and she will increase his energy uh, by 100 and also she will give 100% control immunity. Now this is huge. So if you use using Ignis, so there is no need to use CC Purify. You can use Resilience in your hero. So she is like a CC Purify uh, replacement. So she will give HP, she will give energy and she will give control immunity. This is a use for her as a 9 star 4. So this is the lowest you can go because if you go lower than this uh, let's say um, I don't know it's star and beyond so she will decrease uh, her uh, her control immunity will be decreased lower than 100% which is going to be yeah hit and miss so it's not going to be effective so 9 star is the lowest you can go this is a buff this is why you use her in her 9 star uh, 9 star form in the forward position so she can die and she will heal uh, your ally and she'll give him energy and control immunity this is why you should go for a nine star ignis but after you build her full form why is that because in her full form she will be a great replacement for Vesa. so so uh, she have two basics and active yeah so her basic is 40% plus HP damage reduction by 30%, she will heal by 25%, she will give speed by 60. This is the first basic. So the second one is each basic attack consumes 25% of Ignis current HP to heal three allies with lowest HP by 25% of her max HP. What this jumbo mambo mambo jumbo means? Okay, I wait. So Let's say that Ignis have 75% HP, so she will consume 25%, she will be left by 50, okay? So she will consume 25% of her HP to heal three allies, which they have the lowest HP. So let's say that you have like two Rogans and a Drake and all of them at 75% HP. So she will consume 25% of her own HP to max these guys HP by 100% and also she will give them damage reduction 15% damage reduction for two rounds which is awesome so, so she will increase their damage reduction for two rounds by 15% which is awesome now this is the second basic so we discussed the third one which is uh, when she dies and yeah, I, I don't want her to die, so yeah, she's she's too beautiful for that. <laughs> okay, so when she dies, she will heal the nearest ally, which is the guy or the girl in the forward position. That means if she is in the second slot, then home will benefit from this, is the guy in the first position. 
So she will give him 100% HP, she will give 100 energy and 100% control immunity. Even when she dies, she still works. This is why I love her. She is a great support hero, even when she is dead. So we discussed all these three. So what's her active, which is more awesome. So she will deal 228% attack to the frontline enemies. That means that two guys in the front and she will give heal to the lowest HP allies by 50% of her max HP. So if she have 100% um, HP, she will consume 50% of her own HP to increase your enemies by 50%. And she will increase the nearest ally. Again, the guy in the forward position, which means if she is in the second slot, then the guy gets the buff or the girl gets the buff is the guy in the first position. She will increase him or her damage reduction by 40% for 3 rounds and she will increase the energy by 100. Now that's awesome. Come on, this is amazing. So, dead or alive, she still heals, she still gives energy, she still gives damage reduction for everybody and also the guy in the forward position will get all these buffs so now let's discuss her gear and artifact and enables so um, it's preferred to use a resonance gear because it's the best and then you don't have resonance gear you can use a glass gear or even a split gear so you can use any of these for the artifact we need a damage reduction artifact so it's preferred to use a crown but also if you don't have a crown you can use a plate of courageous or a wildfire torch or a withered armor but I'm going to use a crown for the stone you need a defensive stone, so HP, HP, um, heal effect, HP, you know, any defensive uh, stone. As for the enables, we need her as tanky as possible, so she will still give buffs. So we're going to use vitality and also vitality for the third one. We can use vitality as well, but I use CC Purify. The, th the fourth one, we're going to use Vitality as well, and the last one is Unbending Well. So guys, I believe this is it for this video. So, um, this is a new series for the channel, so if you like to see more from this series, please like this video, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, so have fun, keep idling, and... I'll see you later. Peace.